Hi everyone, welcome back to How We Homeschool. I just want to do a quick flip through of a DIY homeschool planner that I put together every year for about the last 15 years of homeschooling. So I just want to show you what's in it um, and how you too can come up with a, a very inexpensive do-it-yourself homeschool planner tailored to your specific needs and you can stop spending so much money on the other planners that you constantly see. So this is just a three ring binder and what I do is just put a few pictures of the, my pictures of my children that I like with some Bible verses on the front. Same thing with the back. Just do some pictures with some little sayings and some Bible verses of pictures that I enjoy of them. So here's the inside. You have a little pocket here. I can just quickly stuff things there until I can file it or whatever. I do have a thing here, the pencil pouch with some post-it notes, some uh, bookmarks, two pens, a highlighter, and a Sharpie with a skinny end and a fat end and a little binder clip. Then over here is a calendar that I cut out of an old calendar and just taped on and three hole punched it here. This will be for possibly attendance. I'll write A for attendance and if we're sick or something like that I'll write an S there and I might write you know very small jot, jot something down very quickly if I needed to. Um, like it, if it was a school day and we took a field trip then I would just write an F for field trip. So I just have those taped on and I keep those in there. And then here's another calendar. This was from the Dollar Tree. Um, came in a little sheet protector, three ring binder. So what I did was I just hole punched it and um, put it in here. And this is just a little bit more space so that I can write specific things out regarding things on the calendar. Now I do have a master calendar that I keep on my refrigerator uh, that has everything on it. Uh, it has all of our doctor's appointments, um, school related things, uh, birthdays, everything, everything goes on that master calendar because that is the calendar. I don't like having four or five, six different calendars for four or five different aspects and areas of our lives. One master calendar is what we keep on the fridge. This is just in here. Um, I don't know if I always put one in there. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I start out using it. I don't know. It just depends, but it's good to have one in there. So these little three ring pockets, um, this is just notebook paper and I just like to write down what I need and label the side. So this is just going to be basically a resources. I still need to copy uh, from my other uh, book, copy out onto this one and, and all those resources and YouTube and websites and things like that. Uh, and then there's field trip logs and again just notebook paper and handwrite it yourself for each month where you do field trips. This is for my daughter and I have another one for my son. My oldest son has already graduated homeschool so I don't have one for him. So these are just those three ring pocket folders and for each one this will grow. There will be more paper in here uh, as the school year goes on but this is just her curriculum written out. I do have a computer but I don't have a printer and I just don't like to waste the ink in printing things. Uh, so I write everything down and if there's something on here that we end up not liking we don't like to do we just cross that off or I, if it gets too bad I'll rewrite it if not whatever um, and if there's something that we ended up that we like and wasn't on here in the beginning then we just add it too and flip over and you've got more space so this is her book log. She does have a book log in her curriculum box, but uh, I like to just make sure they stay together and I like to keep it in this notebook so that I have everything for this year. So, and then this is her um, read aloud book log, the books that I read specifically to her or to them uh, that I'll just keep track of. And, you know, front, back, and we add more notebook paper as we go. This is her weekly schedule. We're going to be trying something a little bit different this year. Instead of doing five, six subjects in one day, we're going to shoot for Math Monday. Um, there's a cooking class we take on Tuesdays, grammar, writing, language, arts, English on Wednesday, history on Thursdays, and science and art on Fridays. 
uh, that might change. Like I said, this is just something that we're going to give a, give it a go uh, this year. And next is my son. His is pretty simple. This is his Explode the Code. He will do the Explode the Code book. So I cut this out of one of the books in the back just because it gives you a brief synopsis of what each book covers. And his is easy. His is the same. Uh, his Read Aloud book log. Uh, these are the books that he'll be reading. Uh, these that we've started with so far. And then this is his uh, curriculum that we'll be starting with in the beginning. So again, if something doesn't work, we cross that off, chuck that curriculum, and then if it does work or we find something else, we just add it to here, and we've got back for extra space. So there's that. And then in the back is just extras. This is a little pocket that that calendar came in. I'm going to keep that because I can always stuff things in there. Uh, little pamphlets for things my children do, and I just got some extra pockets here with some notebook paper in it uh, a few little extra sheets of notebook paper and this is old things that I like to keep on hand because in the state of Florida they require you to keep two years worth of um, school information if you were to get checked up on so these are weekly co-op schedules this was last year's and that was the year before then uh, this is just extra information back here that I like to just keep in each notebook uh, to remind me should I have a child that wants to move on to uh, college college immediately after high school. Uh, these are the require Florida state requirements for uh, the credits, scholarship credits, things like that. Um, same thing, this is just extra information for that same thing. Just some phone numbers, websites, and things at hand here. Um, same thing. This next sheet was my private school information. And then here is a poem that I have kept in my notebooks, my planners, every single year that I have homeschooled. It has just gone from one planner to another because I really like this poem. And it reminds me of just the reason we have children, the reason we choose to homeschool, just, you know, just a mother's awesome poem. Then in the back here, I keep another little pencil pouch that just has um, little things they give me throughout the year. So it's just a little notes that they like or a really nice, cute little drawing or a nice picture that they enjoy. Something like that that you just don't want to throw away. So I just put it in here. This is a zipper pouch here that I have at the very end. This is for my first son who's already graduated homeschool. Uh, just a few things I keep in here. Uh, his diploma, his certificates for all of his um, uh, credit hours for volunteering at the courthouse and just other little things that he did for his um, sophomore, senior, and I'm sorry his junior, sophomore, and senior year. So that's it. So you can easily have a planner every single year that's perfectly catered to you, your homeschool family for under $5. And I promise you, you won't regret it. I've been doing this for 15 years. And I think for the first year or two, I bought a planner because that's what it seems like you're supposed to do. And I quickly chucked that after a couple of years and just started making my own. And I keep them in three ring binders because I want to be able to add and take away from it all year long and for many more years to come. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this look through of a homeschool planner. And I hope it was an encouragement to you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.